Okay. Hello. We are going to a concert today. I'm leaving in like, I don't know, half an hour. I have to do my makeup and I have to do my hair. And then we're leaving because I fixed everything. Uh, that's why I'm talking a little fast. Like I'm a little bit stressed. Ah, I can't wait. By the way, I fixed my glasses yesterday. And that's amazing because I had to fix them for the concert. But I started putting my outfit on. It's really basic. I have these black pants and then white socks and this. And then I'm going to put on this blazer that I got from my mom or should I put on my gray one because I have a really cool gray blazer this is my favorite blazer I wore it on New Year's Eve so if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen this okay should I do this one or the white one because like this have the cool details on the arm but I don't know no it doesn't fit with the pants because usually when I wear this I wear like big pants so no I'm gonna go with this one but I am doing my hair so and I'm gonna find some accessories let me find some accessories okay first jewelry piece I have this um, necklace that my mom bought me in Marbella I think and then I put on these rings that are supposed to be gold, but they're bronze now because uh, they're outworn. And then I'm gonna put on this, uh, can you see it? This um, bracelet. And I got this from my grandmother's cousin and her daughter. Love them. Uh, so I'm gonna wear this. And then I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna do my makeup first. So I'm just gonna put my hair into a claw clip. Uh, if you didn't already know or didn't tell by the title, I'm seeing Alexander Stewart. Go listen to him. Okay, this claw clip did not work. Go listen to him right now if you haven't. He is amazing. And his lyrics are so honest and his voice is beautiful. So go listen to him if you haven't. Hello from me editing. Mm. I just wanted to show you this. This is a playlist that I've made with all of Alexander's songs and also all of uh, Yoop's songs. Uh, he warmed up for Alexander and I had a long chat with him for like, I don't know, probably 20 minutes and he is the nicest guy ever. And I'm going to talk more about him later in the video, but this is... The playlist with all of their songs uh so go listen to my playlist that i made and go follow me on spotify this is my name on spotify so that was all i wanted to say let's get back into the actual video uh let's do my makeup i'm just i'm not gonna show you what i or maybe i should show you what i use okay i literally ruined my bookshelf for this to work this is all of the makeup i own okay i do my makeup like twice a year Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, yeah, and maybe concerts. So, I'm gonna start with taking my glasses off. I should go and take some moisturizer first. Um, I just start with this concealer from Revolution. It's in this color thing, C7. I don't know shit about makeup, so if like I say something wrong or anything, that's why. I just do. Like, uh, I don't know, this. Yeah, I need to go wet my beauty blender. I love this beauty blender, by the way. Next, after a uh, concealer, I do, because I don't wear foundation or anything. And uh, my makeup sucks. There's no pigment, but where my sister stole my makeup brush, I have to get my makeup brush. 
I have this brush. I think it's for blush. I don't even know what this is for. But I use it for everything. Which I know a lot of people are gonna be like, no, please. But yeah, uh, I know. First I do bronzer. And after bronzer I do highlighter, yeah. And I pinch my brush and then go like this on the highlighter. It's so hard <laughs> on there right now. Okay, do it. Whee! And then I do blush. Okay, let me find some good lighting and show you my makeup. Okay, it's, it's not it, it's not it, it does not look good, but I'm not gonna, t I don't have time to take off my makeup and do it again, so I'm just gonna leave it like it is. You're literally on my skateboard in my bed right now. Uh, I have this that I forgot to turn on. Okay, let me heat it up. Okay, it's not, my makeup isn't that bad, but my mascara and my brows, I definitely don't have time for this, but I can't, like, in the start of the semester, I used to do this every day before school, that's insane. No, there's no curl. No curl. Like, can someone teach me how to curl my hair, please? I suck at curling my hair. Okay, I think I have everything I need now. I am gonna grab my backpack and I'm gonna ask my dad to drive me down to the city center because uh, this, this is not working. I legit have to run to catch the train that I'm taking into the city center. Okay, I've never filmed in public before. This is kind of scary, but I'm here now. So I'm about to meet my friend, Christina, and I'm so excited because I haven't seen her since September. So I can't wait. It's new that end. <laughs> Here's my friend Christina, and how excited are we? Really excited. Yes. As you saw, I tried curling my hair and it still is not. Look at her hair, it's so flawless. Mine is. It's literally a it's bird's nest. I did it 10 minutes before I left. So, okay, we're gonna go up to the venue, check if there's some someone there. If there's no one there, we're probably we go get some food. going to, yeah, we're going to eat, and then if there's someone there, we're going to start, because uh, uh, I brought my pen, so we're going to start a um, line system, I guess. <laughs> I almost stepped on a three-year-old kid. Okay, I'm going to go, and I'll see you when we're at the venue. Uh, okay, so we just, there was one person in line, and she had been to like... Yeah, we have numbers now. Her friends are coming, so it's like we are four and five now. And we gave her the pen so that in case anyone else comes, she could write on their, their numbers too. But we're just quickly gonna run to uh, the grocery store to get some food because we're literally so hungry. And there's a grocery store right there. Okay, I took my jacket off and we're literally sitting on my jacket. But uh, we're currently eating. I'm eating yogurt. She's eating salad. 
and I can't wait. Like I'm literally shaking and I cannot. Uh, I can't <laughs> breathe. I can't even talk. This is hard for me. This the weather is so nice though. The weather is beautiful. So I'm really excited. Why do I keep doing this? Okay, fine. It'll be Okay, so uh, we're gonna try and find a toilet now. I'm so cold, I'm literally shaking. And there's like this uh, cafe, cafe, I don't to the head, um, like right across the street. So we're just going there to check if there's if there's a toilet there. Uh, oh, I'm so incredibly cold, I cannot, oh my god. The toilet is occupied, so we have to wait. There's a mirror here. Okay, Alexander posted this to his story. Just now. <laughs> so, there definitely, or it wasn't just now, it was 15 minutes ago, but we saw it on one of the other girls' phones. Like, when it had been out for like, literally 30 seconds. But we are just waiting, but since they're in the hotel room, they're probably not going to be here anytime soon. The lighting here is gorgeous. <laughs> He's walking towards us. Oh my god. I caught it again. <laughs> oh, how do you do? Um, I have a gift for you. Oh my god, thank so, you. There's a letter in there and there's some of my favorite Norwegian candy. Oh my god, I love this. You know, <laughs> that's so perfect. And oh then god. there's Whoa. this dinosaur and I made Stop. you a necklace <laughs> that matches the dinosaur actually. No way. Yeah. <laughs> also, do you want to be in my YouTube video? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I would. Hello, YouTube video. Wait, what should I say? Um, you could say, listen to my music. Oh wow. Okay. Listen to my music. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's hey, wonderful. His music is so good. Oh, thank you. We're in Oslo. We're about to play my show tonight, yeah. which is so freaking exciting. I've never played in Oslo, and I can't believe it. And I'm here with one, two, three, four, five, six, six wonderful human beings, and I'm so excited. It's gonna be. It's gonna be so amazing. Wait. So and then there's a the letter. Is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna open all this when I get back to the hotel because I don't want to like ruin it or drop this beautiful little dinosaur. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. gosh. Thank you all so much for coming so early too. Before all these shows, um, I've tried to make it a point very much so to like come and see everybody yeah. who's like been here because like it's yeah. mind blowing to me that y'all <laughs> do this. And it's so freaking cold out, yeah. but y'all must be used to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of. Yeah. Oh, it's true. We do for you because we love you. And you're amazing. So yeah. I'm like. I'm like in this giant puffer and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> But we're sitting on our jackets, yeah. so oh <laughs> I'm from Toronto, right? So it's like cold it is cold. They yeah. get cold yeah. in Canada. But I live in Los Angeles now. Yeah. And I will tell you, I became a wimp. Like, I so quickly, so quickly adapted to the warm weather like all the time. Yeah. And now whenever I come anywhere, including home, by the way, I show up and I'm like <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I was like, I saw it because um, live, I think it's Live Nation or something posted like they have these stories, and I was like, because I didn't know you were coming, like you were going on tour, and then I saw it, I was like, you're joking. And I immediately bought that because I was like, yeah. hey, yes, I'm going. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> you're like a really big inspiration yeah. to me, also, because I really want to be an artist like you, and you inspire me so much. She's so good. Uh, She's so good. Uh, She's really, really good. Well, so. Do you have me some music or something? Uh, I did actually. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. I, I wrote my Instagram in the letter, but I sang Perfect. back to you literally last night at 2 a.m. <laughs> I was like, 
I want to sing the song and show it to him. So I do it too. Oh my god, thank you. I'm gonna look at it as soon as I look at your Instagram handle. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can we get like a group photo together? Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Okay. Okay, I usually have my manager with me, but she, I think, is sleeping. So I, <laughs> I ventured out alone. <laughs>me editing again so i just wanted to give you guys a little warning this next part of the video is going to be pretty long and it's going to be me sitting down in my room talking about all of the crazy experiences i had at this concert all of the crazy conversations i had with the artists all of the crazy stuff that happened after the concert and everything and if you're not interested in watching <laughs> me talk about my experience you could go to these time songs is that what it's called please correct me in like the comment section or something or if you're my friend tell me what it's called but we're just gonna call it time stomps for now this one to watch uh job's performance and go to this one to watch alexander's performance and then go to this one to watch my conversation with alexander and if you just want to continue on watching the whole video and hear me talking about my experience i would love that i hope you like the video so far and i hope you love the rest of it hello it's three weeks later i'm still not over this concert and there were so many things that i didn't get to film one because i wasn't allowed to bring my camera inside the venue and two because when i got home i literally just ate bought some other concert tickets and went to sleep because i had school the next day so i just thought that I have to film a clip where I just talk about the things that happened because it was the most crazy experience I've ever had in my life. First thing I want to talk about, I'm I'm going to try to talk about things in order, like the order that it happened. When we talked to him outside of the ven venue, which I showed you, uh, we started talking about different things and we started talking about One Direction and stuff. And I was like, when the Liam thing happened, because Liam tweeted about Alexander Stewart and said like I love this guy's music. I was like when that thing happened. I was screaming I was freaking out and I was literally on the floor and he was and he started talking about Yeah, that that was amazing and we met at this party after that and he was so nice to me and we like talked and I was just stood there freaking out because I was literally talking to one of my favorite artists but at the same time, he was talking about his conversation and his friendship with Liam Payne. So another thing that I wanted to talk about was I gave uh, Alexander this gift that I think I filmed. I think I got that on camera when I gave him the gift. But um, it was a gift with a dinosaur like um, and stuffed animal. Uh, and it was blue, pink, and yellow, and then I made him a necklace that was also blue, pink, and yellow and matched, and it said Alexander. And I gave him Kvicklund Smelkechokolade, Plate. If you're Norwegian, you know what that is. This is the chocolate I gave him. And then I gave him my favorite candies, these crocodile gummies, alligator gummies, I don't know. These. This is my favorite candy. And then I gave him a card where I talked a little bit about why I love him and his music and how much he inspires me and stuff like that and I also put my Instagram handle in the card and told him that I sent him a video of me saying his his song back to you and when we were talking to him outside of the venue <laughs> Like, I told him about that I also want to be an artist, and my friend, when I said that, my friend Christina, she went, She's so good. Her voice is amazing. She, she said that to everyone that we met at this concert. Literally everyone. She was my hype man that night. It was, it was so funny, and it was amazing. So thank you for that, Christina. I love you. Then Alexander went, Oh, DM me some music or something. And then I told him that I actually did and I put my Instagram handle in the card. I did not think he was going to see it. 
But then 20 minutes or so after we talked to him and he went inside, I got a DM from Alexander. He texted me and he said, Oh my god, your voice is beautiful. Thank you so much for covering my song. That's such an honor. I was dying. And also, thank you for the gifts. I will be wearing the necklace on the stage tonight. It's so cute. I died, okay? I was bawling my eyes out, calling my mom, and I was like, this and this and this happened, and I'm crying. And blah. He sent me that, that DM, and as I said, I freaked out, completely freaked out, and I responded, oh my God, in capital letters. You're the sweetest person ever. Thank you so, 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 so much. It was literally the best ever meeting you. Oh my God, I'm so excited for the show. This means the world to me, Alexander. And then a uh, pink heart emoji and uh, the emoji that does this. Favorite emoji, by the way. This emoji, I love that emoji. And I cannot believe that really happened, but it happened. Uh, and it gets crazier, which I never thought it would, but it does, which is insane. And then after that happened, we waited for a couple more hours, and then we got into the venue, and then we waited for, I think, an hour more. And then we saw the opening act. His name is Jop. He is so amazing. He's so talented. Literally unreal. So this, this is Spotify. Go listen to him right now right now okay i'm telling you you will not regret it he is so good and here's a clip of him from the concert <laughs> Alexander came on and he was amazing. Here are some videos of him.
was so amazing and he wore the necklace and I was freaking out. There was a lot of songs where he came so close and he was looking at me and we were like singing and I was freaking out. I was like, <laughs> although I had already met him, but I wasn't able to sing. And there was so many moments where I was like so amazed by everything where I just lost it. And his guitarist slash best friend, Flynn, also so amazing. They were like this duo, I'm telling you, this duo is the best duo ever. And Alexander played like, I think three unreleased songs and they were all so good. And I actually think he's gonna release one of them very, very soon. So I'm super excited for that. So after the concert, Alexander had a meetup in the back of the room and we were just did, uh, where we were stood for the whole concert and we started talking and then uh, Jop, the opening act, uh, he was also there. Literally, he was standing besides us. And we were like, you were amazing. You were absolutely slaying and you're so talented. And just, we wanted to tell him how good he was because he was amazing. And then he started talking to us and we, obviously, we were loving it. We had a full-on conversation for, I think, about like 15 to 20 minutes with him. Probably most memorable and crazy conversation I've ever had. So when we were talking to him, I told him like, oh my god, I love this song and this song and... Um, I really, really love the last one that you played and we talked to him in Norwegian, by the way, because he's Norwegian, but I really, really like the unreleased song, the last one that you played, and he was like, oh, you did, yeah, I heard you, you went, like, release it in the end, and I was like, yeah, absolutely, I loved it, I loved it, I need it. My camera stopped filming, but he asked me if I had an iPhone, and I went, yeah, and he went, oh, but I can just airdrop you the file for the song like the song. I can literally urge up to the song and I was like, are you joking me right now? Are you, are you, what? And he airdropped me the song, the unreleased song that he played. Uh, bro. And then he just started like, yeah, but do you want more? And I was like, yeah, give me everything you have. And he just decided to it dropped me a lot of unreleased songs, and I'm literally freaking out. Freaking out. Uh, uh, I told him that I really want to be an artist, and that it's really inspiring to see him doing so incredibly well, and working with some of the biggest names in the music industry and in Norway, uh, like Norway's biggest artist, and you know, when he only has like five songs on Spotify, and like seeing him doing so well that is really inspiring and then obviously Christina my friend goes she's so good she is the best singer ever you know she's just hyping me up so much and uh, he said oh my god I need to I need to hear your voice DM me something same same thing as Alexander said and I went like yeah I will and, and then Christina goes she actually did post her uh, her singing on TikTok. She duetted Niall Horan and uh, it's amazing. And then he goes, oh my God, I should follow you on TikTok. He started following me on TikTok and we're not friends on TikTok. It's insane. Then he started talking about this music school um, in a place, I think it was in Lillame. And uh, he told me that this is really good for um, like uh, young artists and people that want to get into the music industry. He really just told me so many inspiring and motivating things and I learned so much from him. I've never been that inspired to actually pursue my dreams ever in my life. Here's his TikTok. Go follow him. And I already told you, go listen to him on Spotify. And then after that amazing conversation, which I'm never going to forget ever in my life, we went and talked to Alexander again. 
Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you the video of us talking. Hi, how are you? I love it. I'm gonna take this off. No, I love it. Hi, how are you? I might edit a little bit of it because it was pretty long we talked for like I think five three three five minutes the way he said hi to me I will never forget that he is the sweetest kindest <sighs> I don't even know what to say as you saw he uh, talked about the gift and like thank you so much and it was amazing and and then he went and your voice is amazing and I was like and then I told him how much I freaked out when, I, when he sent me that message and, and it was so beautiful and it was, I think you can probably tell by the way I'm talking and how much I'm smiling and everything that it was the most crazy and unbelievable experience that I've ever had in my life and I think that's why I can't talk, like I literally cannot talk. This is just gonna be a huge mess of me just blah, 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 blah. Not even joking. <laughs> I'm freaking out and it's been three weeks. And then after I talked to Alexander, I talked to his guitarist slash best friend, Flynn, Flynn Tanner. What a gorgeous man. What a gorgeous man. And I just asked him for a picture and he came down and took a picture with me. Here's that picture. Do you see this man? Do you see this man? Gorgeous. And we just started talking. I was like, thank you so much. You're so talented, like so talented. And also, I don't know if I can say this, but you're so hot, which was, I don't, I don't know what was going through my mind. I was just talking that night. I was, I did not, <laughs> I was like just saying everything that I thought. So I just, cause he's, he's hot. And I just went, you're so hot. Like, literally, it was getting hot in here. I was fainting. And he was like, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you. And he was kind of laughing. And I was like, and then he was like, wait, what's your name? So I just went, it's Iranya or Rania. And he was like, no, say it the normal way. And I went, Rania? And he went, no, no, the normal way. And I was like, oh, Iranya. And he was like, Iranya. And I was like, almost, it on now. And he went, it on now. And I was like, yeah, that's amazing. And we were just talking about how amazing he was because he was amazing. Did you see the video that I put earlier, like of him, the guitar solo? And we talked about how amazing the concert was and how I literally love their friendship, like Alexander and Flint's friendship so much and how being like getting to go on tour and live the dream with your best friend of six years must be so amazing and that's really inspiring to me because again I wanted to be an artist and I seem to just tell everyone that I wanted to be an artist that night but and I just told him that it's so it's so fun for me to see them two like going on tour together and just simply working together in the music industry as best friends and being there always for each other and Christina had uh, joined the conversation by this point so obviously she went she's so amazing she actually sent Alexander a video of her singing back to you and it was so amazing and he saw it 
And then Flynn went, wait, you were the girl that, on the video, he played in soundcheck. And I was like, yeah. That was me, did you like it? And he was like, yeah, it was amazing. We all heard it, it was amazing. And I was freaking out. Not, n not only did Alexander see this video, but he played it for his team in soundcheck. Okay, so it's the next day. I just uh, had to eat dinner yesterday, so I had to stop the clip and go and eat dinner. And then I just watched my policeman actually with my family. And uh, then I went downstairs, watched some Formula One, and then I went to sleep. So, so after <laughs> Flynn told me that he also watched the video and the people at Soundcheck watched the video, I was freaking out, as I said. And then we just talked. We talked a little bit about like the music industry and that we were so excited for the day when uh, Flynn and Alexander are like playing stadiums and we were like here at the at one of the first concerts at the first tour and that we were so excited to be there on front row just cheering them on. So we talked a little bit about that and uh, then I went like, and you're gonna remember us, right? Because we're kind of friends now, aren't we? I was just, I was saying everything that came to my mind. Earlier in the conversation we had talked about, when we talked about um, how I love like their friendship and stuff, like Alexander and Flynn's friendship, uh, I also like said that I think that the two of them are like just a, like a jackpot of a friendship, you know what I mean? And then when we talked about like the stadiums and everything and that they were obviously gonna remember us, uh, I just went, yeah, and we'll like be this group, jackpot squad or something. I said something along the lines of that, I don't even remember, but I just kept saying like that me, Flynn, Alexander, and Christina <laughs> was like the jackpot squad and Flynn was, yeah, the jackpot squad. So now we kind of have a group name, <laughs> I don't even know. Now we're the jackpot squad. That was kind of, that was, that was a really fun moment and we had a laugh, so it was great. And then uh, Christina had to catch her train, so we had to run, but the night was amazing and we met new friends and we had the time of our lives talking to everyone and the concert and everything was so amazing the whole day was unreal and i'll never ever in a million years forget it so when i got home i actually did something because um i had for a long time thought about buying tickets for Mimi Webb because she is playing in Oslo on Thursday the 23rd of March and uh, I had wanted to buy tickets when she came last year in May or June I think it was but I had been on and off about it like oh I should buy tickets because I love her music like a lot her music is so good and then uh, me and Flynn started talking about Mimi Webb and he was like, oh, we love her. And I was like, yeah, because I've been thinking about buying tickets for her concert for so long. And he he just went, you should, you should. And I was like, should I? And he was like, yeah. And then I went, okay, I'm going to do it because you said it. So when I went home, I bought Mimi Webb tickets and I'm so happy I did it. I only bought one, so I'm not going with anyone. I'll see if I meet someone. And I'm just really excited to finally get to see her in concert. And I'm so happy that Flynn made me buy those tickets. All in all, all wrapped up, this concert was the most inspiring experience of my life. The most crazy experience of my life. I met the kindest humans ever. I had the best time ever and I learned so much and I had a smile on my face for literally 10 hours straight. So it was totally amazing and I highly, highly recommend you go listen to Alexander Stewart, go listen to Jop. They're both amazing. And if you're like debating if you're gonna buy concert tickets to whatever concert you're thinking of, buy the tickets, okay? This is your sign to buy the tickets. And if you watched the video this far, I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!